Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation. Shalom, 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 Yasharal and Yahuda. Do you sense this? This urgency, the need to push through, the need to endure tribulation, to endure the squeeze, to endure the press, to endure the pressure, the tribulation that comes, that works that we are to ally, that we are to embrace. We are in the press, the push. Yahuwah is birthing us from this wicked nation as a people. He's birthing us as his people. We have received the witness. We have the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood. We are moving in the power of the Ruach HaKadosh. He is sending a fresh Ruach refreshing. Receive this witness. This is a press. This is a push. You got to press your way into this. This ain't going to be no flowery beds of ease. You got to push. Yahuwah, I thank you. Listening to none other than Hezekiah. The song is entitled Woman in Travail. Woman in Travail. I don't own the rights to this music. You who will take the reins of my lips, the reins of my tongue and reign. Yahuwah, we're in the push. You're birthing forth the nation. You're birthing forth those that you have chosen from amongst the nation. Yahuwah, you're calling a people unto yourself out of Babylon, out of Mitzrayim, calling us to escape, to come into the rest, the witness of Yahushua HaMashiach and be established. Yahuwah, I pray that you would you would not cause me to stumble, cause me to cause anyone to stumble, anyone to be turned out of the way, anyone to come up lame. Yahuwah, this witness is about you. This is your plan of Yeshua, Yahusha. You have sent your water and sprinkled us. You have given us your Ruach HaKodesh. Yahuwah, the Ruach of wisdom and understanding, the Ruach of counsel and of might, the Ruach of knowledge and the fear of Yahuwah. Yahuwah, we push in our way in. We're accepting tribulation. We're embracing what you're doing because we know it works together for our good. You have called us to endure to the end. Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, in the name of Yahushua Mashiach, may I be that one that endures to the end, established in your witness. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I pray. Listen, man, if y'all woman, if y'all pushing, pushing, you have to understand what you're in. You're pushing. You got to understand the value of this witness. You pushing. You got to endure hardness as a good soldier. You're pushing. Tribulation, yes, it works. It is an ally, right? You got to keep pushing. Excuse me, we talked about the, the, the ten versions, the five wise and the five foolish, right? The wise had their oil lamps lit with oil and they had vessels with oil in, 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 in the event the bridegrooms tarried as he came. They were prepared to have to wait a while, right? Tribulation was coming, but they endured. They waited patiently. And then there came the sound of the bridegroom's announcement. The bridegroom is coming. And the five wives virgins right 
those who were in the witness and established, those who had you who was Ruach Kakadesh and had 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 a pattern of righteousness that caused them to be prepared went in to meet the bridegroom. But the foolish, those who gave themselves the folly, right? Those didn't didn't find it necessary to take a vessel with oil because they just kind of anticipated that, you know, he was going to come pretty soon. They had oil in their lamps, but, you know, they didn't have the endurance. They didn't have the oil that they needed in the event that he tarried. Listen, you better you better get in the push. You better get in the push. You better recognize this push. You better establish in this push. Man of Yah, woman of Yah, it's about to push. You who has called me to cry loud despair, not to lift up my voice like a trump in Zion, and to tell his people, Yashrael and Yehuda. They must receive the witness, right? See, the rule of Hakadesh for me is for that purpose. You who is going to give me everything in the rule of Hakadesh that I need to get this job done, right? 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 It's not my job to 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 investigate the Hebrew history. That's Benaiah's job, right? Right? That's Benaiah Ben Israel's job. That's that's a job for uh, uh, Ron Dalton. Right, 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 right. That's 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 a job for uh, um, a rebirth of a nation. You know what I mean? That's not my job. That's not what you would call me to do. You could, you would told me to cry loud, spare not, lift up my voice like a trumpet from Zion, tell his people they need to receive you as witness. The Ruach, I can just water and blood. That's what I do. I have tunnel vision. I'm established. I know exactly what it is he told me to do, and that's why I'm going to do this every day I get an opportunity. I am going to let you know that you need to have this witness, right? You need to have the rock. And listen, everything that I read is going to point to that because you're who is going to use everything is available in the Torah and the Basura to bring to bear the witness and the urgency and the necessity of you having it. We're in the wisdom of Shlomo. We're in the 11th chapter of the wisdom of Shlomo. And Shlomo in his early years asked Yahuwah, at the age of 19 or 20, at the early age of his life, you know, he was pursuing wisdom, but he knew that the only place he was going to find it was with you. So Shlomo, he became the king, and he started offering sacrifices unto you, a thousand bulls. And Yahuwah was, was pleased with his sacrifice, and Yahuwah appeared to Shlomo in a dream and said, listen, what is it you want that I will do for you? Shlomo said, look, there's a bunch of people out here, Yahuwah. They, 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 they are the dust of the earth. I, I, I don't, I'm not equipped. I'm not equipped to lead these people. I, I can't go out and go in for these people. You know, who can judge them? You know, I'm 20 years old. I'm a child. I'm a young man. You know, I ain't got no experience. I, I, I ain't a bearded one. You know, I don't have age. I don't have time and tenure. You know what I'm saying? My 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 dad Dawid, you know, you called him at a young age, but there were steps that he took before he even became the king. He was anointed, but you know, he 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 had to have your ruach. You gave him your ruach of night and might and he was subduing his enemies. You gave him the ruach of counsel, you gave him your ruach Hakadesh, and you know, he was able to read this, write the Psalms and he meditated in your Torah day and night. Yeah, he had some problems, but you know, you 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 restored him because of his heart. Now you I don't I don't I don't I don't know what to do. I mean I, I look I ain't got what it takes without your ruach. So I need your ruach of wisdom and I need your ruach of knowledge. And in and, and Kings he says, I need an understanding ruach. I need an understanding of judgment, right? Yahuwah says, look, this pleased him. Because he didn't ask for, you know, his enemies. He didn't ask for riches and wealth. You know, he didn't ask to be honored, you know. You know, he didn't ask for long life. He asked to govern Yahuwah's people. His heart was right. And it, it, and as he, as, he, as, as, he, as he spoke and it was recorded, the wisdom of Shlomo, right? In his young years, young years, when he was passionate about Yahuwah's Ruach, he wanted to espouse Yahuwah's Ruach. He wanted to be one with Yahuwah's Ruach, Hakadesh. He wanted wisdom. 
right? Shlomo knew it took time for wisdom. But see, who is Ruach of wisdom? It's, it's, it's supernatural. It's supernatural. And he wanted that Ruach. He wanted it. He knew he needed it. Listen, he had to be able to judge you as people. He wasn't like his father, Dawi. He wasn't like his father, Dawi. He had a heart. Like his father Dawid, but he wasn't like Dawid. He didn't understand it. He was a young man. But you gave him his Ruach. He said, Look at it. It's granted. Ruach of wisdom, Ruach is knowledge. It's granted. Right? You have the Ruach HaKadesh. You have the Ruach HaKadesh. And Shalomo said it this way He said, Your Ruach, which is seated at your right hand, is what he desired. So the Ruach, that wisdom, right? Wisdom, her is at your right hand. Your her is at, at your, at your, as next to you on your throne. I'm sorry. She's, she's with you next to you in your throne. Because yeah, Yahushua is seated on the right hand of you. The Ruach, I guess, might very well be on the left side. Shlomo said, the Ruach of death of Yahuwah is, is with Yahuwah. He said, the Ruach of death of Yahuwah communes with Yahuwah, conversates with Yahuwah, right? engages in conversation, and Yahuwah loves her engagement. And to Shlomo, it was always her. Well, Yahushua Yahusha referred to him as him. Everything that Shlomo writes in relationship to wisdom is always her. It's the same thing in Ecclesiastics. It's the same in, in Ecclesiasticus, right? It's, 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 it's Shlomo's understanding of the Ruach of Wisdom. So he understood how important she was, how valuable she was, the Ruach of Wisdom. Right? She's more precious than gold. Rubies. Riches. Actually, the Ruach HaKadosh of Wisdom was the key to getting all of those things. Because she's going to show you how to move. How to act. How to go to and fro. Show me. Say, look, when, when, when I'm tired, at the end of the day, I come home to her. The intimacy that he had with the Ruach HaKadosh. The value that he placed on her wisdom and her knowledge. You got to understand. You have to have value. You have to place value on this witness. You got to see the value of the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to understand the value of being born again of the water and the Ruach HaKadosh. You can't skip the water. You can't skip the Ruach HaKadosh. And you definitely can't get to skip the blood because without the shedding of blood, there's no forgiveness of sins. And Yahushua has made that possible. And you have to receive that in Imunah, even in order to have your sins forgiven and be cleansed, swept clean, varnished. You have to have that in order for you to have the Ruach HaKadosh. In obedience, you got to go down in the water. In faith, you have to receive the blood of Yahushua's atonement. And in faith, you have to ask Yahuwah for his Ruach HaKadosh, which will establish you in his kingdom. Because, beloved, now we the sons of Elu. We who have received the Ruach HaKadosh, and it does not yet appear what we shall, but we will know that when he shall appear, we should be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Listen, the Ruach HaKadosh. You got to be established in this witness. You got to be established in this witness. Shlomo, as a young man, understood the value of being established in his witness. <sighs> Listen. The wisdom of Solomon, 11th chapter. Now he talks about how wisdom, right, led the prophet, right? Says the prophet is Moshe. He said, now, the Ruach of Wisdom prospered their works. The nation of Yasharal. They prospered. 
in the hands of the prophet, Moshe. Moshe was that man of Yahuwah that was called to lead Yahuwah's people, to guide his people in Torah, to keep them focused and directed, right? Right? The Ruach HaKadosh. Right? So listen, listen. It prospered. See, Yahuwah's power prospered. Yahuwah's power prospered. Yahuwah's power in the prophet prospered. He said, they went through the wilderness that was not inhabited. They murmured and complained. But they went through the wilderness that was not inhabited and pitched tents in places where there was no way. They followed the leading of the Ruach of Yahuwah. Followed the leading of the man of Yahuwah. Right, 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 right. They stood against their enemies and were avenged of their adversaries. They took a stand against their enemies. And they were avenged of their adversaries. Every adversary. They were avenged. He says, listen. And when they were thirsty, they called upon thee. And water was given to them out of Flint Rock. Provision. By the Ruach of Yahuwah. Right? Provision. Right? And their thirst was quenched out of a hard stone. Moshe. Right? Touched the rock. The rock brung forth fresh water. In a desert place. To satisfy their thirst. Right? Right? For by what things their enemies were punished, by the same they in their need were benefit. What enemies? Mitzrayim. Mitzrayim needed water. But you have punished them because of their failure to recognize his people as his and to let them go. Right? 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 For instead of a perpetual running river, trouble was foul, but trouble and foul blood. Yeah. Now river. Instead of it being water, it was foul blood. Why? Why did Yahuwah Move differently. Because you know. He, 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 Pharaoh followed the children of Israel. To the Red Sea. And you would swallow them up. And you know we ended. In the 10th verse of the celebration. Of, of praise of Yahuwah. Because he swallowed their enemies. And yet Yahuwah brought them. Through a, a desert place. Right. Brought them. Um, um, and, and, and had them in tents. Right. And when they were thirsty, right, they complained to Moshe, says, listen, would you bring us out here to die of thirst, right? But Yahuwah was compassionate and Yahuwah had mercy. And the Ruach HaKadosh demonstrated its power as Moshe hit the rock, right? And the rock brought forth water, fresh water. But to the Mitzramites, Egyptians, right? Their river was turned to blood because of their failure to receive Yahuwah's authority, his man, his power was executed. The Ruach HaKadosh demonstrated it and turned water to blood. Listen, listen. Excuse me. The Ruach HaKadosh 
is going to demonstrate itself in signs following. These signs shall follow them to believe. Yahushua said, greater works than these shall ye do, because I go to my Father. The Ruach is sending a refreshing, a refreshing, a fresh anointing. And those who are in you who was witness, those who have oil in their lamps and their vessels maintained, they're going to do greater works. They're going to be able to speak a thing and it's going to happen. Now, you just ain't going to overtly speak stuff. You're going to speak what the Ruach I can just gives you to speak. You're going to declare what you were told you declare. You were declared to me the other day when I told you about my dogs. Should have been running all over the neighborhood, but you would said speak to him and speak to the angels. Tell the angels, don't let nobody come up and down the street, divert them, don't let them come past my house, divert them. My people always come past my dog, my dog's always barking. I know, I mean, good the word they be barking because people always walking past my. I said, You would then, then, then you would said, Well, I said, speak to the dogs. Tell them where you want them to go. He said, Fathead, get in the backyard. Just like this. Fathead. In the name of Yushimashi, I get in the backyard. Kadar, don't you leave the yard. I don't know why I didn't tell her to go in the backyard, but I specifically told her, don't leave the yard. <laughs> but I remember what I said. I said, don't leave the yard. When I came home, she was right in the carport. Right, not wandering the streets. Right, not leaving, not even coming down the driveway to the end of the road. Not in front of the house. She was in the carport as if she was put there, and she could not go nowhere. Cause you got to know my dog, my dog, Kadar. She, look, she gonna run. She gonna get out. And, you know, she see somebody coming, she gonna run to him. Barking, ah, yeah, yeah, she. Yeah, right? But Yuhua did exactly what he told me he was going to do. Right? Fat it was in the backyard. Exactly what I told him. Kadar came from out the carport. And I'm thinking, okay, where Fat at? Now, you know, I already spoke the word. <laughs> so, she go in the backyard. I go in behind the backyard and I'm calling Fat Ed. That had come from behind the backyard. And the backyard's fenced. There's two gates. There's a gate to a other section of my yard. Because my yard is fenced off twice. One side is for the dogs. And the other side is for, you know, my garden. And, and you know, you know, you know, grilling. Whatever we want to do over there. But that's the dog side. You know, dog side takes work. You know, you got to, you know. Got to clean up after the dogs. You know what I'm saying. But, you know, that's the price of having dogs. But anyway. Needs to say. The idea is, is that. He was in the backyard. The Ruach HaKadosh is going to bring forth miracles. Supernatural miracles. When the Ruach HaKadosh tells you to say something, to declare something, you better say it and declare it. Because he's going to demonstrate himself strong. Powerful. Right? 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 Because you have received the witness of the Ruach HaKadosh. You, you are sons of Yahuwah. These signs follow you. Listen, and you know, there are going to be some signs. There's going to be some supernatural signs that's going to be breaking forth in us as the witnesses of Yahushua. Right? He said, listen, listen. Right? He says, for a manifested reproof of that commandment, manifested reproof see because you know if you don't do what you who commands there comes a reproof he reproves you right right when you don't obey you there comes reproof let's do this let's do this All right, 
So, let's let's explore reproof. The Hebrew. Go oh, women. Strong's H sixteen oh six. Gara. 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 It is a rebuke. It's a rebuke, right? So, Yahuwah rebukes those who don't give heed to his commandments, right? It says here, right? For a manifested rebuke of that commandment whereby the infants were slain Thou gavest unto them an abundance of water by means which they hope not for. Yahuwah provided you by the Ruach HaKadosh water at a rock, right? But he took the firstborn of Mitzrayim, right? For a manifest of reproof of that commandment whereby the infants were slain. Thou gavest unto them an abundance of water by a means which they hope not for. Declared by that thirst then how thou hadst punished their adversaries. You are always, by this Ruach power, executes punishment because of a failure to give heed to a command. The children of Yasharal suffered rebuke while they were in the wilderness because they didn't keep you who was command. You who has demonstrated his power. Let's go. You who demonstrates his power, his Ruach of wisdom. Shlomo still refers to the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom as her, and he's still referring it to it as the Ruach HaKadosh. Right? The Ruach HaKadosh. He says, listen, 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 listen. And when they were tried, albeit, but in mercy chastised. Right? The nation, right? They knew how the ungodly were judged in wrath and torment. They were chastised. But they knew how the ungodly were judged in wrath. How did you judge the ungodly? The Mitzrayim. How did he judge them? Touched them with plagues. He touched them with the death of the firstborn. He judged them by turning their water to blood. He did that by the power of his ruach. He says, when they were tried, I'll be it but in mercy chastise the children of Yashara. Tribulation. Chastised. Chastise. See, there's a difference between chastisement and tribulation. Chastisement is being rendered because of your failure to continue in what Yahuwah has said. Right? Chastisement. Right. Tribulation in this witness is not a result of chastisement. 
tribulation in this witness is a result of Yahuwah's using situations and circumstances to get you to pray more, to get you to fast more, to get you to read more, to get you to get up out of the bed and on your knees and pray more, right? That's the tribulation that comes as a result of the witness. That's righteousness tribulation. That's tribulation because of righteousness. That's not, that's not because of chastisement and reproof. Right? Because you, 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 children of Israel were chastised because they didn't obey. But Yahuwah had mercy on them because of Moshe. And Yahuwah wanted to destroy them. But because of Moshe and his love for his people and the promise that he had made to their fathers, Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov, Yahuwah honored his word, but he chastised them in the wilderness. Forty years, he had to allow a generation to die off. That's not the tribulation that works. Chastisement comes because you're disobedient. And yeah, if you if you if you repent and turn, then chastisement leads to restoration. And restoration, if you continue in, will still bring tribulation. But that's designed to keep you in prayer. That's designed to keep you in your on your knees. That's designed to keep you before you. Right? But the nation tre were chastised. Right? And Yahuwah was merciful. He said, they knew how the ungodly were judged in wrath and torment. They were tormented with lice. They were tormented with flies. They were tormented with frogs. They were tormented with boils, I think. They were tormented. All because they didn't want to do what Yahuwah had told them to do. Just, just let Yahuwah's people go. He says, thirsty in another manner than the just, right? They were thirsty in another manner than the just. They were thirsty for deliverance from them plagues. <laughs> uh, but see, you had chastised the nation. And still provided them water from a rock. You better understand the value of this witness. Shlom at a young man, as a young age, understood the value of wisdom. Here Shlomo meditating in the Torah, in the Basora. He's meditate, meditating in the Torah of Yul. He's calling to mind through the Ruach HaKadosh of wisdom and knowledge, the events that took place that reflect Yahuwah's power, his Ruach HaKadosh, her. But he says here, for these thou didst admonish and try as a father, children of Yasharal, who you chastise with mercy, right? But the others as a severe king, thou didst condemn and punish. He punished Mitzrayim. He condemned them to death. They, they're, they're, they were swallowed up in the Red Sea. Their firstborn was dead. If everything died. Judged. Severe king. Judged. 
punished them. Whether they were absent or present, they were vexed alike. Didn't matter if they were, they were, they were in Mitzrayim or not in Mitzrayim. If they were Mitzrayites, they were punished. Right? <laughs> you could have been on a, on a, on a, on a, on a, on a mission outside of Egypt, and you were Egyptian. Your firstborn died. If he was with you, he died. Plagues hit your house. Didn't matter where you were. You whose judgment fell. I said, that's why, listen, you got to have you was Ruach Gagadesh, man. Because that judgment's going to fall and it ain't going to matter because it's going to fall on everybody who is not in this witness. Do, do you hear this? It didn't matter. It didn't matter. For these thou didst admonish and try as a father, but the others as a severe king thou didst condemn and punish. Whether they were absent or present, they were vexed alike. Didn't matter, you. If you are blood Hebrews and you have not received the witness of Yahushua Hamashiach, you will suffer his judgment, the king's punishment. Because, see, this witness requires faith in the blood of Yahushua Mashiach. This witness requires being born of the water and of the Ruach HaKadosh. And if you're not, you're going to be punished and condemned in Mitzrayim again. He said, listen, 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 listen. For a double grief came upon them and a groaning for the remembrance of things past. A double grief came upon them. And a groaning for the remembrance of things past. They suffered double. And they groan because they remember how the past was. And when they heard by their own punishment, the others to be benefited, they had some feelings of you. saw the difference of Yahuwah towards his people. For when they heard by their own punishment the others to be benefited, they heard that the punishment of them by those that Yahuwah had delivered. Right? When they heard by their own punishment the others to be benefited. They had some feelings of Adonai. They recognized they were being punished, but these 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 Hebrews were being protected and kept 
What? They had feelings of Adonai. He says, right? Right? For whom they respected with scorn when he was long before thrown out at the cast forth of the infants. Him, in the end, when they saw what came to pass, they admired. Shlomo speaking about, right? No doubt he's speaking of how the Mitzramites perceived, right? Right? For whom they respected with scorn. They had scorn. They respected, but they had scorn. Right? When he was long before thrown out at the cast forth of the infants. Moshe. All the infants were cast forth. Right? All of the infants, but this Moshe, right, right, right. He made it. This was you was doing, right? For whom they respected was scorned when he was long before thrown out at the cast forthing of the infants. Him in the end, when they saw what came to pass, they admired. These Hebrew children and we drive to destroy. Yet he survived. He turned that nation to Yahuwah. He became a deliverer. This prophet. It's Moshe. Right? But for the foolish deceives no the foolish devices of the wicked where with being deceived they worship serpents void of reasoning vile beast thou didst send a multitude of unreasonable beasts upon them for vengeance that they might know and that wherewith a man sinneth, by the same also shall he perish. So the idea here is, and Yahuwah is going to always render judgment and justice by the power of his Ruach HaKadosh in the same manner that you had you had dealt sin out, right? You gonna get it back. But for the foolish devices of the wickedness, of their wickedness, the things that they devised in their wickedness, He says, where with being deceived, they worship serpents. Well, you know, Pharaoh, Pharaoh's uh, 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 priests were able to turn staffs to serpents. They were serpent worshippers. They had a bunch of gods in Mitzrayim, but the serpents was one of the gods they worshipped. Right? Where it was being deceived, they worship serpents void of reasoning. Right? 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 They didn't have no wisdom. Not Ruach wisdom. They didn't have the Ruach Akadesh of you. They worship Hasatan. 
they worship the serpent, right? The vile beast thou didst send a multitude of unreasonable beasts upon them for vengeance. that they might know that wherewith the man sinneth, by the same also shall he be punished. There is no escaping Yahuwah's judgment. There is no escaping Yahuwah's judgment. Verse 16 says that they might know that wherewith a man sinneth, how a man sins, by the same also shall he be punished. Yahuwah, for thy almighty hand, verse 17, that made the world of matter without form wants not mean to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions or unknown wild beasts full of rage, newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scent of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. Dragons. <laughs> yeah, dragons are real. He says, verse 17, for the Almighty's hand, Alua, Alua, Yahuwah Alua's hand, his power, his strength, his power that made the world of matter without form, because earth was without form and void, and darkness is the face, was on the faith of the deep. All of these are references to sh that Shlomo has as a result of his meditating in Torah day and night and receiving wisdom and understanding from Yahuwah. Listen, listen, he says, wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears and fierce lions. Excuse me. He didn't want to send bears and fierce lions. or unknown wild beast, unknown wild beast, full of rage, newly created. Breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy smoke of scattered smoke, or filthy scent of scattered smoke. A dragon. Wisdom of Shlomo. Shlomo was able to look into the things of Yahuwah and the knowledge of Yahuwah by the wisdom of Yahuwah <sighs> that are only Ruachali discerned. Right? He's talking about a dragon. 
shooting out horrible sparkles out of their eyes. He's talking about a dragon. Yeah. And without these might they have fallen down with one blast. being persecuted of vengeance and scattered abroad through the breath of the, thy power. Newly created. Dragons. But thou hast ordered all things in measure and number and weight. See you who will buy the power of his ruach has measured things out. He has dealt with us in measures. He has given us his ruach in measure. He does exactly what he wants to do by his power to get the job done. Whatever is required, that measure to deal with whatever he, Yahuwah needs to be dealt with, he's provided a measure. Because you, he has to deal with us in measures. Because, 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 because we couldn't handle the fullness of you, of his power in judgment or in righteousness at this point until we're changed. <laughs> until this body puts off mortality and puts on immortality and corruption. He has to deal with us in measure. His judgment, his power is always in measure. Let's go back to 17 because I'll read that again. For the Almighty's power, his hand, that made the world of matter without form, right? wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears, right? And fierce lions, right? Right, because we're talking about judgment, right? Because of the failure to not take heed to the word. And what happens is the power of you who is unleashed. <laughs> right? Power is unleashed. Right? So, he says in 16, that they might know that wherewithal a man sinneth, by the same also, he must be punished. The Ruach HaKadosh, the witness, the Ruach HaKadosh of truth, right? That empowers the word of Yahuwah, the witness, right, comes to seal in the witness or to set apart seal unto judgment, right? By the same also shall he be punished. Failure to receive the word. The sin that keeps you. You who is going to use to kill you. To punish you. For thy almighty hand that made the world of matter without form wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears and fierce lions. 
right? Or unknown wild bees full of rage, newly created, breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scent of scattered smoke or sm or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes. The dragons. Whereof not only the harm might dispatch them at once, but also the terrible sight utterly destroy them. The sight of the dragon. <laughs> These created beings of you. Seraphims, cherubims. He says, listen, 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 listen. Yea, and without these might they have fallen down with one blast. Being persecuted of vengeance. See, because because they gonna take vengeance. They're going to punish in accordance with Yahuwah's word. Yea, and without these might they have fallen down with one blast, being persecuted for vengeance and scattered abroad throughout the breath of thy power. The breath of that Ruach HaKadosh, the Numa. That same, that same, that same breath that came in on the day of Pentecost as it was the rushing mighty wind and it filled the place where they were sitting and they were all filled with the Ruach HaKadosh and they all began to speak in clothing tongues. It's blast, it's power. But thou hast ordered all things in measure. You, he's got to deal in measure. Right? I mean, we're like a drop. The, the arrest is like a drop of water to you. You can't. <laughs> you can, but you who in full measure would devastate the entire world as we know it would be consumed he says for thou can show thy great strength at all times when thou will you could do you could do your you can show his great strength at all times I appreciate the measure of the Ruach HaKadosh you has given to me. I appreciate that I know that as I pray in the Ruach, as I fast, as I dedicate myself to you who is witness, as I dedicate myself to you who is word, as I trust in this witness, you who has given me a, the ability to do his supernatural bidding. I'm not just a mere man with the Ruach HaKadosh demonstration. I'm the son of you. I have you and you on the inside of me. I have the Ruach HaKadosh. That's the power of you. I have it in measure. Listen, everything you does has to be in measure. Yahushua didn't have the Ruach in measure. He had the Ruach without measure. That's the reason why he could walk on water and the molecules just form under him. Because you was. <laughs> uh, See, for thou canst show thy great strength 
at all times when thou wilt. And who may withstand the power of thine arm? Who? Who can withstand you who is power? What nation? What king? Yahuwah doesn't regard any of them. Hasatan is not regarded in Yahuwah's plan. Hasatan, he got everybody in outside of this witness under a strong delusion. nothing to you to you you who created him you who arose raised Pharaoh up to destroy him you who is going to do the same thing to Hasatan you who is going to do the same thing to Hasatan he is going to destroy him out of darkness Emptiness, the blackness of nothingness. Verse 22. For the whole world before thee is as a little grain of the balance, yea, as a drop of morning dew that falleth upon the arrets. See, now she always talk about the power. You who by power demonstrated his ability, his capacity, just to allow a rock to be tapped and water to gush out. To a rod in the water of the Nile and it turns to blood. You who the deliverer. Who has to do everything in the Ruach HaKadosh in measure. Because uh, he can handle you in the fullness of anything. Can't be done. Can't be done. You have to recognize you you have to recognize his power. And if he has given you the witness, the Ruach HaKadosh, the water and the blood, and he's giving you the capacity to be wise and not foolish. And if all you need to do is by his Ruach HaKadosh, keep his Torah, walk in his statutes, keep his commandments, right? And do the work. Reaching people for the witness of Yahushua Mashiach. That's all you got to do. You better do it. You better do it. This witness, you better do it. You better do it. But thou hast mercy upon all, for thou canst do all things, and winketh at the sins of men, because they should amend. See, who knows he's in control. Yahuwah is in control by his power of everything. He's in control by his power. Right? That he exercised in measure. Yahuwah. That's mercy. Listen, he has him he having mercy on, on the wicked right now. Because he's giving them a space to repent.
He hasn't sent any fiery beasts, any fiery serpents that are newly created to come down and blow. There's fire. <laughs> but thou has mercy upon all. For thou can do all things and winketh at the sins of men. I see you. I am demonstrating my mercy. I see you. It's unto repentance. The bridegroom is tarrying. to possibly have some of these fools cross over and become wise. Because they should have met you. Who knows that there is some that's going to repent. He knew I was going to repent. For thou lovest all the things that are, and abhorrest nothing which thou hast made. For never wouldest thou have made anything if thou hatest it. You who have made the world, right? But he hated what the world had become. So he destroyed it with a flood. He hated how sin had been, become pervasive. And all he could find was one righteous man, Lot, and his sons and wives. <laughs> yeah. You who had destroyed everything. Everyone. Now, now, now when you consider how powerful you who is. You just don't know it's going to rain. Build an ark. I'm going to give you the Ruach. The Ruach is going to give you how to build it. You're going to build that ark just the way it's supposed to be built to specifications. Because the Ruach of Adesh is going to come upon you. And it's going to give you what you need to get your job done. You built an ark. Noah. His three sons. And their wives entered into the ark. They were delivered. They gave heed to the commandments and the testimony and the statutes of Yahuwah. They received the witness. <laughs> they received the word. That brought Yeshua. When it was time they went in. To the ark and closed the door. And then opened it up. And Yahuwah unleashed. A measure of destruction. That took over the entire area. Of the Eretz. Slaying giants. Slaying witches and warlocks. Slaying homosexuals and lesbians and and all of those those pornonias, wickednesses that the angels brought unto men, sons of men, in exchange for the daughters of men. That wickedness. Right? Taught women how to use paint, makeup. To create an illusion, a look, an illusion. <laughs> Man. Scarlet. 
I like I like a woman all natural because I like to know exactly what I'm looking at. Got all this ton of foundation on, all this color and paint, and you know, I rather I rather look I rather look at you natural. Yeah, you may have some blemishes, but okay, I can live with you natural. I don't want to meet you and have you all painted up and then come to find out. <laughs> Listen. That's what the angels, the fallen ones, gave to the daughters of men. The capacity to seduce Let's go. For thou lovest all things that are, and abhor nothing that which thou hast made. For never wouldst thou have made anything if thou hadst hated. He made the urets, but he destroyed everything that was on it. He brought it back after the floods receded. Right? And how could anything have endured? If it had not been thy will. I am here today. Because it's the will of Yahuwah. Preaching to you this witness. This power. This Ruach. Telling you that you must receive the Ruach. And that's the water and the blood. That you must be born again. That you must be baptized. With the water and the Ruach. I could dash. Listen. How could anything have endured if it had not been the will of you or been preserved if not called? You will preserve me because he chose me. That's something he didn't choose, but he chose me. I'm grateful. For the witness. I'm grateful for the choosing. I'm grateful for him selecting me. I'm grateful for me being numbered amongst the Kodashim. I'm grateful that I have received power after that the Ruach HaKadosh should come upon me. I'm grateful that these signs follow me that believe in his name. I shall cast out devils in his name. I shall speak with new tongues in his name. If I take up serpents and if I drink deadly, deadly things, it shall not hurt me. In my name, in his name, I'll lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Miracles. I, I, I thank you for calling me. Right? But thou sparest all for thy, for thy, they are thine. O Yahuwah, thou loveth the soul. He spares those whom he loves. Right? Right? But thou spares all. Now he's referring. He's, the question is, and how could anything have endured if it was not for thy will? Or been preserved if it was not called of thee? Right? Thou spareth all that are called of thee. Thou spareth all that is in thy will. For thine, for they are thine, those of you who have chosen. O Yahuwah, thou lover of souls. Man of Yah, woman Yah. We got through the 11th chapter of the Wisdom of Solomon. Yahuwah is selective about who he loves. Right? He loves those that Keep his commandments. 
He has mercy on those that keep his commandments. Yahuwah judges those who don't, who won't give heed to his instructions. If you will tell you to do something, you don't do it. You're going to be corrected. You're going to be reproved. You must understand that Yahuwah has everything at his disposal. In the Ruach HaKadosh, in the power of Yahuwah, in his hand, his power, he has everything at his disposal. And it doesn't take a full measure. <laughs> All it takes is a measure. All it takes is an earnest. All it takes is a down payment. All it takes is what you what gives you to get the job done, all that you need in this witness. And it's for those whom he has chosen. All those that he has called. Right? All of those that he has chosen. He says, listen, for thou canst show thy great strength at all times when thou will. Man of Yah, one of Yah, Yahuwah can do whatever he want by his power at his will. And if you're led by the Ruach and of Yahuwah, he will demonstrate himself by his power in you at his will. He'll do it. He will. Yahuwah will deliver you at his will. He will make manifest his power at his will. He will demonstrate himself strong at his will. And he spares those that he loves. He says, for thou spares all, all who? all that he is called right all that it is his will if you have spared you to receive this witness you better take the measure of his <laughs> and do what he's called you to do Man of Yah, woman of Yah, that's it. 11th chapter, 1st through the 26th verse. Yahuwah, I pray right now in the name of you, Shemashiach, that your word would be a lamp unto their feet and a light unto their pathway. The entrance of your word would give them light that would give understanding to the simple. That the young man, when he hears your word, is clenched as he takes heed to your word. Yahuwah, I pray that your word would make alive. Yahuwah, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, may I cause no one to stumble, anyone to come and blame, anyone to be turned out of the way. Yahuwah, I believe your word. I believe you to lead me by your Ruach HaKadosh. And I give you praise. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength in my redeemer man of yah woman of yah that's it called the greatness woman of you who are called the greatness beautifully wonderfully made today you who is favored you be establishing this witness you who can do whatever he want to he can do whatever he wants to he's giving you the opportunity to receive his might his Ruach HaKadosh, Yahuwah, on the inside of you, from your belly to flow rivers. The Ruach HaKadosh. You better, you better avail yourself of this witness because you ain't going to make it if you don't. 
Man, if y'all woman, y'all something like that, with that I say, listen. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Hear the word of Yahuwah and be blessed. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah Nation.